very good afternoon to you. Welcome to Hockenheim. Here we are, and it is the Audi Sport TT Cup race. Once the five red lights go out, we will be away and racing. The engine note rises. Good, good start there from the uh, number eight car of Yannick Grant. Good start also from Philip Ellis, although Garcia Redes right on the outside of Ellis there. She has got her nose in front, but Philip Ellis, if he's able to defend now, he's not able to do so. Garcia Redes, even before they got to the hairpin, had gone through into P2, but now Philip Ellis is beginning to fight back. Flashing the lights, as you Some can see. Grass. Here comes Philip Ellis then with a go to try and wrestle back that P2 position. So now Garcia Redes should go wide outside and then try for the switch back here, but. Actually, Philip Ellis did that really, really well, didn't he? Got that absolutely sorted. So he's wrestled that P2 position to take advantage of that. And right at the very, very front, Yannick Brandt is now coming under some pressure from Philip Ellis. There you can see just how close they are. Right, let's go racing once again. Yannick Brandt then, who was really under pressure from Philip Ellis just as the safety car was deployed. So Philip Ellis gets past Yannick Brandt. So too does Garcia Redest now. So it's all change at the front of the pack then, as uh, Philip Ellis now leads the race. Garcia Redest is uh, P2. Look at the pace that Philip Ellis has got. He's left the others really in his wake now. Well, we are on the final lap. And uh, Philip Ellis, Garcia Redest, and uh, Yannick Brandt then the uh, one, two, three at the moment. Um, a great job done by uh, Philip Ellis. Has merely two turns to do before the uh, checkered flag falls on the first race of the Audi Sport TT Cup for uh, 2017 and it will go the way of the uh, returning Audi Sport TT Cup driver Philip Ellis, Garcia Redest will take P2 and Yannick Brandt will take uh, P3. No denying the win and that came from uh, Philip Ellis. Very commanding performance particularly over the second half of the race. Race winner in the first race of the Audi Sport TT Cup. And there, Philip Ellis out of the car. Delighted with the win. And the Audi Sport TT Cup is go for race number two. Good start for Garcia Redest, who's going to try and squeeze out Milan Doncic going into turn number one. They're side by side. Garcia Redest could have the lead of this race. But carrying more momentum, Milan Doncha appears to have just got his uh, nose in front. They remain side by side. From P2 on the grid, Garcia Rodes goes into the lead. So Garcia Rodes slows the oh, car. Oh, I saw that coming. Yes. They all get through. We Some old sandwich there. Breathe a sigh of relief if they all do get through. A little bit of debris on the track, but they did. Great. So pushing them both is uh, Philip Ellis as well. There is Philip Ellis, who's equally being pursued by Mikel Azgona. Pace like no one else, then uh, you're absolutely right. That will be the case. Look at this every which way but loose, trying to find where Ascona can, uh, Yannick Brandt can put that car up against uh, Milan Doncha. And Milan Doncha closing the door there on the inside. Now, here comes uh, Yannick Brandt and oh, oh, squeezed the car. Squeezed, and that really compromised the overtake, didn't it? Milan Doncha. Just, just squeezed enough, didn't he? And what that's done is brought Philip Ellis right into the game as well in P4 in the grey car, number 23. Well, well Philip Ellis has got past. Uh, Philip Ellis has got past the uh, Yannick Brandt car. And this is how Philip Ellis did it on uh, Milan Doncic. Yeah, then has Fabian Vettel behind him. So let's see, he's also on a push to pass on the brakes. Thing is, when you have a sleek tire, you can really use the brake here because the other guys are really struggling to go the car on the brakes. And he has a lot of more traction. Of course, now he went on the outside. Lost a bit of that momentum, didn't so he? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> six car. This Parallel two by two. One heck of a uh, battle, isn't it? Drew Ridge at the front of this little pack at the moment. And, oh, Benoit gets uh, squeezed out onto, but now up the inside, look, he's able to King of the late breakers there because was able to really get past Volvend, Fabien Volvend. 
they are still fighting. So now Filipe is P3 with the yeah. car number 23. Milan Donji will squeeze to the to the right, make the door the car wide as possible. A little bit of sideways braking for Milan Donji. He ran a bit wide, but he managed to keep the car inside. And uh, Milan Donja has been uh, taken by Philip Ellis at the hairpin. So Philip Ellis is now P2. In the meantime, untroubled is Garcia Redest, but uh, 2.9 second margin over Milan Donja. I suspect that's going to come down now because Philip Ellis looks very, very lively indeed. And well, has the LED stopped working in the uh, Philip Ellis car? It's working on our LED now. <laughs> He's flashing. <laughs> yeah. Lights are working, but the LED in the quarter light isn't, you see, so we can't tell what push to pass he's got left because it would uh, come up as zero if there was uh, none left. Oh, we can see now on the other side he's got three. Uh, Garcia Rodest has got four, so she can, she's can she got an extra one in the bank, but it's still a long way of the race for her to be able to defend this because Philip Ellis looks clearly quicker, doesn't he? He is all over the back of the uh, Garcia Rodest car to the uh, start finish straight they go so three tenths the margin between the two of them whoa and the Casera desk back end of that car really sliding out now and that will be that tire degradation at its worst now exactly. Philip Ellis on the outside now Casera desk will have the inside for the next turn but Philip Ellis has got the pace now he too was beginning to slide also Brilliant car oh, control. Oh, no. That was really close to be a major accident, but really good car control from Garcia Rodez. Really good reaction. Well, we're seeing it from him at every uh, different angle to try and assess. And... Uh, well, no, but this is not... This is different. This is different. This is Garcia different. coming back. So, a big fight between both of them. Elbows out there, isn't it? Race Control have decided that that incident between uh, Philip Ellis and Garcia Rodest, a racing incident, and no further investigation or action is needed. I think that's fair call, isn't it? Yeah, it was, was quite fair. I mean, it can happen. This is racing where everyone is chasing to, for position, everyone is fighting. So, have small touches, a small accident is part of the game. Philip Ellis then. What a weekend it's been for him because as he uh, rounds the final turn and will head for the checkered flag, it's two out of two. Garcia Rodest is the uh, first out of the car to be uh, congratulated. Philip Ellis then. What a weekend. What a weekend, of course, he's uh, back into the Audi Sport TT Cup. He's experienced in the Audi Sport TT Cup. P3 for Finley Hutchinson then. In the Audi Sport TT Cup, it's race two. Up next, off to the uh, Nürburgring. Garcia Rodest then led for the race for so, so very long, but in the closing stages, Philip Ellis just had got the pace advantage and was able to get past, but Garcia Rodest, a very creditable P2. I thought we were gonna see her first win today, but it was denied, and it was denied by a fine effort from this man. Uh, Philip Ellis, who at times had to use more opposite lock than he would choose to in terms of controlling the car. But he did take the win and he's made it two out of two this weekend in the Audi Sport TT Cup. Philip Ellis, race winner.